Hi, this is George. Uh, today we're going to do a little something different. Um, these are um, ink tents from Durant, and they're basically um, an ink that is water soluble so that when you doodle or create a swatch then um, you can wet it. I'm going to use a, a paint pen. It's basically a, a water brush with um, a nib or brush that contains water in here and then you, when you press it it creates a little bit of water and then what you do is a lot of people when they get a new uh, supply they will do a swatch to set, see what the um, um, color actually looks like. So in this case, I'm using um, Iris Blue 001 and what you do is you do let That's going to be a little bit of problem because I did too much water. But anyway, so what you want to do with Durant is, and this is not a product review, but it's a doodling review. So that was one thing and then i'm going to new use another one which is apple green and according to my eyesight is one four zero zero so i'm going to go in here and since the brush has a lot of water on it. I'm going to extend it down like so. And I'm using my Hannah Mueller uh, sketch pad. It's good for um, um, watercolor wash and anything that has a wet factor going in with the blue again so I'm going to go a, a little bit more water so it's an easier transition not necessary uh, blind, but that's not one I'm going for. So when you want to have the brush without any color, you just wipe your brush and on a uh, clean, clean towel. And I'm going to do another one, but this time I'm going to use a yellow in this case. Let me get out of the color. I'm going to be using this one here, which is sun yellow. So that number is 0, 0200. that there yeah. 
and I'm going directly on the paper. I like these the the durant because when again I'm having a lot more water but with these once they're dry um, they're permanent and won't move around I get I got these because sometimes I'm, I'm a little messy with my supplies and it has a tendency to a little bit more um, excellent 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 accident prone sorry about that I'm relearning how to speak after I had a stroke so what I'm basically doing today is I'm going to um, doodle on the pad with the color, but I'm, I'm going to use black ink. It's kind of like a, a border situation, but anyway. Um, when I have um, new supplies, or supplies that I don't normally do I like to experiment so if you have Durant ink tanks you can use that to have fun and experiment so I used the ink tanks from Durant to create um, a swatch I don't know about you but I like to do swatches on paper that's thick, like uh, watercolor paper, um, because a thin paper won't be able to um, take the water without it built, buckling water brush, which I'm getting uh, more accustomed to. I, when I use um, watercolors, um, I like to use um, the standard watercolor brush, like one of these. But I want to uh, experiment with my supplies, so I'm using um, a water brush. So I'm going to be back. I'm going to let the um, paint dry and um, start doodling. Okay, I'm back. So, the other supplies I'm going to be using are my Thule art pens. They're non-toxic. Um, and when it's dry, it's waterproof. So, um, I'm going to be using various widths, like, uh, 08, which is kind of a thicker line. It's not so thick that it's all black. I mean, it's black, but not that bad. So when you when you have um, swatches, 
you can do this kind of thing. So your swatches aren't boring. And watercolor paper tends to buckle a little bit when you uh, use it. So most people, myself included, will take the edges down on a, pa a, a board or a table. You're kind of painting surface so it doesn't do that. The thing I noticed with um, watercolor paper is it tends to um, with the paint um, when you use um, a pen like this or any pen, the ink is absorbed differently, meaning the lines are normally thin, but when the, um, the surface, which is normally dry, um, when you add water or watercolor, and in this case I'm just using um, ink that has been, I guess, waterified. But what happens is the amount of ink in the pen, um, you have darker lines. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you normally would use just um, a medium point, try going a little smaller than you normally would. So you can account for the way the paper, see, is different than this. And you can do it with various designs. Me, I like to just play with it and see what I come up with. It's kind of a freeform doodle. And then some colors um, are darker than others and you um, can play around with the um, amount of ink that you use in your duels. So for example, this here, the yellow, is vibrant and the you don't need as much ink to have the contrast going on. But when you get into greens or um, browns or darker blues, then you have to um, adjust. But as you do it and play around, you will be able to accommodate. So a quick question, have you ever um, doodled on top 
of a watercolor swatch or even um, a uh, colored pencil let me know in the uh, comments section sorry about the siren noise I live next door well, a block away uh, from uh, fri fire the um, fire station and it's pretty active so every so often if you hear one going off I apologize I'm going to do something. I'm going to extend the border around the swatch. So bear with me. No, it's not so precise, but I'm just creating um, a border around the swatch. And then going back in with my signal. I really love this pen. It's a fine line. And basically, um, this is the pen I normally use when um, I'm not filming a video for YouTube because um, before I was uploading using 780. Now I'm able to um, upload using um, a better resolution but when I do this um, before um, the video quality was that I wasn't able to set so the fine line detail so but now that I have the capable capable ability of uploading a better quality the process is better see it's I think th this is cool so if you don't normally um, doodle on your swatches it's really a easy it's takes a lot of time but not to worry not not unless you're going someplace but if you are you can resume when you get back so this is sped up quite a lot so take your time and if you are enjoying the video if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button it really helps my channel out by um, saying to you to hey this is a good bit video um, and then the longer you watch it's a better for you well the the um, YouTube analytic, analytics like I said I had a, a stroke last year and I'm going pretty good 
it's just that certain words more difficult than others. So how do you like? Good? And you can turn it upside down or like that. bad I like it so if you um, do like this video um, leave a comment down below and let me know so I can uh, do more of these thanks thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and got inspired to have fun with your swatches. Take care. I'll see you later.